The best way I've found to figure a 2 or 7-3 logbook split is that you have two blocks. The block before your two or three hour break that can be taken either in the sleeper berth or off duty status and the block after your two or three hour break. All right, so let's say you come out of the sleeper berth with fully reset clocks and you drop down to on duty for two hours. Then you go up to driving for three hours and then you go into the sleeper berth and take either your two or three hour part of your break. And then you come out of there and you drop back down to driving and you drive for six hours, let's say. When you go back up to your sleeper berth to take your seven hour or eight hour part of your break, to figure out how many hours you're going to have available when you come off your seven or eight hour sleeper berth period, which that part has to be in the sleeper berth, then you would simply just take the hours that you used in section A, for instance, you used five hours of on duty time. So you would take 14 hours, subtract the five hours of on duty time. And then that would tell you that you had nine hours left when you come off your break. On the drive time, you use three hours of your drive time. So you take your 11 hour total of drive time subtract your three hours and that gives you eight hours drive time available when you come off your eight hour break so now let's say you're into your next work period you did your driving you did some on duty time you did your uh, sleeper birth time a couple hours in the sleeper birth either the two or three hours in the sleeper birth or off duty and then some more driving and you're going back into the sleeper birth and you want to split again so what you would do to figure out how many hours you had after this split is go to section B and do the same thing. You just subtract the hours that you used in section B from the 14 hour rule or 11 hour rule. And that will tell you how many hours you're going to have available when you come off of your sleep or birth period for that. In this example, let's say you come off your 10 hour break at 2 a.m. and you got full reset clocks. Drop down, do your 15-minute pre-trip inspection. And let's say you drive three hours over to your receiver. Drop down, takes two hours on duty to get unloaded. And let's just say that your dispatcher doesn't have a load for you yet. So you go back up to driving and you drive a half hour to the nearest parking area. And let's say you go to the sleeper berth and go to sleep for a couple hours and you got your next dispatch drop back down to driving drive two hours and 15 minutes to where you're going to get reloaded drop down to on duty and they're fast so you're out of there in an hour run back up to driving drive four hours and 45 minutes Drop down, do your 15 minute post trip inspection on duty and go back up into the sleeper berth. So at this point, you've used up all your hours pretty much for the day. That would be 16 hours on duty. And the reason for that is because when you went into the sleeper berth, you stopped your 14 hour clock. So you can technically do 16 hours. And then that would be 10 hours and 45 minutes of driving. So your day is over, right? But you want to get rolling again as soon as possible. So you want to do the 8-2 split. And you want to know how many hours you're going to have when you come off your 8-hour sleeper berth. So basically what you do is you take the time that you used prior to doing your 2-hour sleeper berth break earlier in the day. And you just subtract that. So prior to your two hour break earlier in the day, you were on duty for five hours and 45 minutes and you were driving for three and a half hours. So you take your 14 hour on duty, subtract to five hours and 45 minutes. That's going to give you eight hours and 15 minutes 
available when you come off your eight-hour break. You take your 11-hour driving time and subtract the three and a half hours you used prior to your two-hour break earlier in the day, and that gives you seven and a half hours drive time after you come off your eight-hour break. So at 2 a.m., you're going to have eight hours and 15 minutes on duty and seven and a half hours available to drive.